think the scouts were, were pretty happy. Uh, there was a couple of situations where we were trying to move up, trying to get more picks, and I ended up getting the player anyway. So that was uh, it was great. Yeah. There. On that reason, a lot of guys have him. Well, we were we were trying, and it was a situation where it's kind of what's the cost, and you roll the dice a little bit, and we didn't want to give up more picks. Uh, we were willing to for the right situation, but it worked out for us. And looking at him and his game, obviously high skill, but he also talked a lot about how grit, his edge kind of seemed to fit the blueprint you guys have. Exactly, he fits right in, and you you think of that. A uh, highly skilled player who has that compete, and uh, it can manifest itself in a lot of different ways. So, so it's exciting. Now that you guys kind of found your identity this year in terms of players, does that change maybe what you guys look for in these drafts? You know, it could positionally. So let's say you go through and you get maybe 4D in a row, but you're, you're generally our philosophy is to draft the best player and, uh, and then make that work, right? So the best asset and the best available player. I think it was not for lack of trying, uh, but but you know it's it's like selling a house, right? You 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 could have 20 visitors one day and you think I've got, and nothing happens, and then one day you get one guy shows up and buys your house, it literally, right? So um, I don't think it's any surprise, and I don't think it's anything to. I know it's exciting and it's good copy for you guys, but um, I, I think a lot of teams are talking, and uh, you know their people are in cap crunches and. Uh, I think that's really just a function of the flat cap, and uh, I think you could look at it both ways, right? It could it could provoke more movement, and then it, and then hinder it, and uh, serve as a drag coefficient on it as well. A couple of GMs said that you know the quality of the first round in particular, you had teams that didn't want to move their picks because they had like three or four guys on the board that were still there. Yeah, I, I would think so. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have any. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're really blessed, uh, and, and being able to have that goaltending department, you can entrust them, and they're, they're very thorough, and they have a lot of different voices, and actually a lot of different, they have one shared philosophy, but perhaps different backgrounds, and um, you know, from, from Roberto to Leo, and uh, it, it's, it's a very, uh, I'm trying to think of the, very thorough vetting process that they go through in their list and, and putting it together. So we're very comfortable, and they've done an unbelievable job so far. Can you talk a little bit about Olaf, just like what you guys saw, what you liked him? Yeah, it was a great big guy, and he had been injured, uh, so missed almost a whole year. And so with that year off, uh, they, they did some extra, even though he played this season, um, they were just extra diligent, and they were uh, pretty happy about him. Yeah, and, and, and their process, you know, begins at the beginning of the year. So they, they, it's something that they work on all season long, and uh, just like the scouts. Well, you know, I think some of these young men are going to be a few years out, but it's that, it's that sort of positive feeling and continuing... Look, we're trying to be better every day. We're trying to grow, and we're trying to get we're trying to get players that uh, emulate that style of hockey and that style of professionalism that the guys themselves did on the ice for us this year. I think the commonality on the two of them is the compete and the grit. You know, one's a bigger guy, sort of a. He's mobile and just a bigger guy, and the other guy's a sort of 5'11"-ish, but but again, mobility and grit. That's all on that skating versus Yeah, yeah, and now I mean, it helps. <laughs> the skating helps, and we have a couple of, you know, in Forsling and Montour, we have a couple of guys who can really wheel, and you can see that it helps. And Wickman also has a bit of experience in the pros with the Does it help when you can go to the draft and have a little bit of tape on a guy that has played? I think it does. I think, um, and, and, and for, the, for the scouts that seeing those younger players in the men's leagues, it, 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 it crosses a nexus of, okay, now I see them in a, in a higher level, in a higher, um, everything 
the, from the level of play on the ice to the age to the locker rooms and so, so if they can exist in that arena uh, I think it, it makes it easier to project. Was that the case with your last pick with Stefan? A little bit older, 19, playing in the KHL a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and he, he, uh, he's from Belarus and he's under contract for a couple of years so that was one where I think maybe he fell because you might not have access to him for a while but he's tremendously skilled and uh, and again playing with the men. Looking ahead now with the draft behind you, Saturday's coming up, just kind of switching the mindset a little bit or is it all one flowing thing? How does that process go? It's, uh, it seems as if it's a <laughs> constant flow. There's no break. So we, um, yeah, we'll be at it probably even this afternoon. Um, yesterday we sat with the pros and we uh, we went through different iterations and could we get this guy, could we get that guy, is this possible? And uh, it's, it's going to be, I think, uh, an, an, an interesting and exciting free agency period because there's a lot of teams up against the cap. There's a lot of players um, that I think that fit needs for many teams. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens on Saturday. I would say that just just I'm I'm making it up, right? So given the given the fact that there hasn't been a tremendous amount to this point, um, perhaps, but you it, really it's like selling your house. You just don't know. Talk about it. A million things for you to do right now, bro. And um, but looking ahead to D Cam, you only five picks this year. How much time does spent maybe going after a couple of draft guys, getting them to the place? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, like. As we're speaking right now, a lot of the young men who were not selected today and are very deserving of having been selected are talking to the teams. Perhaps we could come to your development camp or we'll be pursuing uh, people, you know, players like that. Um, so th it's, a, it's a great exercise for us to get to know the players, to, to sort of help teach and instruct from our standpoint. Um, it's not as much a competitive evaluative period as, as much as it is a teaching opportunity. So uh, we're really excited.